Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special edition of our morning briefing, slightly more than 90 at 9, because the global financial markets are in crisis. The Dow Jones has just closed down 504 points, or 4.4 per cent, at just on 10,900, below 11,000 for a first time in a long time. Lehman Brothers obviously filed for bankruptcy in the last day. Merrill Lynch opted to sell out for a cut price to Bank of America rather than suffer the same fate as Lehman Brothers. Now the focus is on AIG, American International Group. It's the world's largest insurer. It has $1 trillion US in assets. That's nine times the value of New Zealand's GDP, about 7% of US GDP. It owns the world's largest aircraft leasing company with 900 passenger jets. It sponsors Manchester United. It trades in New Zealand too as AIG Life and AIG New Zealand. It's been here since 1970. Globally, it has 116,000 staff. This is a huge company, much bigger than Lehman. Lehman had about $600 billion in assets. AIG has $1 trillion. AIG has 116,000 staff. Lehman had 26,000. So the question is, is it too big to fail? Will the Federal Reserve bail this out when the Fed refused to bail out Lehman Brothers? Well, AIG has just received a $20 billion lifeline from the US insurance authorities who say that it can borrow from its subsidiaries. Meanwhile, AIG is trying to borrow $40 billion from the US Federal Reserve. It has refused to do so and has instead asked JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs to lend AIG between 70 and 75 billion dollars US to save this company. AIG's share price has fallen 80% in the last two days, it fell 50% overnight. Its market value, which is now 15 billion dollars, is just worth 1.4% of its total assets. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special report for more than 90 at 9, our morning briefing on interest.co.nz.